Hello everyone and welcome back to my Trappist-1 stock part career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I aim to make orbit finally and obviously it's a little bit more difficult than in regular stock with Kerbin being its smaller size but we will see. I think uh, I think it's doable. We've gotten the Terrier now. Of course we still have to use the pod. We do not have any automated anything and let's build upon the Gamma 2. So uh, let's say we take this off. So right now it has, let's just go with the vacuum delta V's here, or yeah, and uh, 4,200. I think we need something more like 6,500 just to have, that's the orbital velocity, I think. And the way I'm judging that is by the escape velocity, because we can see the escape velocity in the, in the tracking station, and that's like 9,000 something. And basically take that and uh, divide by 1.4, and that's your first order estimate for what orbital velocity will be. Well, if we take that and divide by 1.4, we get more than 6,000. So we are probably going, and it takes about 1,000 to get out of the atmosphere. So let's say altogether we're looking for 7,000 something, which is a lot. I mean, that's more than JNSQ, uh, less than realism overhaul and real solar system, of course. But yeah, uh, we probably need boosters. But anyway, let's unlock the terrier here. And we obviously don't need that anymore. So, well, now we're up to 5,300 right there. Now, yeah, we, uh, do we have radial decouplers? We don't have radial decouplers yet. So that's a pinch. And we also don't have the pad limit up. We'd have to get that and that's, that's iffy. That really takes our money down, but we might have to. Now, part-wise, we should probably get this tank. And that's just for part count purposes. 1.48, well, I mean, we have less gravity around here. Maybe we can push the Terrier more than I normally would. Of course, that burdens this stage more. 1.21 there, 1.25 there. Yeah, boosters would be nice. If we just slap on uh, SRB at the bottom, it. I mean, if it's just the hammer, that already goes over. Not in height tank, thankfully, but. Five thousand eight hundred. Still not getting there, so I do think we need radial boosters. But maybe we can like land our Kerbal in some other place. We better worry about the reentry though. G force. Well, I I don't think they responded to G forces much anyway. Well, okay. Let let's call this Delta. But it's Delta under construction. So I mean, radial decouplers. We just need eighteen for. There's the mountains. <laughs> that would be dangerous. I mean, any other biome, let's like the desert or something like that, would take very high velocities to get to. Let's go polar. And just see how far we go. Yeah, let's just take a chance. We're gonna do a flight with this. Oh, uh, maybe we can pick up some other contract. Let's see. Focus observational. So, crew report in flight above... 18,000 meters in an area. Maybe I should do a plane. Do we have anything that can make a reasonable plane? We only have those fins. We so don't have stuff for a plane. And suddenly the music. Um, best thing to do is test this radial mount drogue chute in flight. So I'll take that. At least they'll give us some money to make up for the cost of the mission. All right, so radial mount drogue shoot. Put it opposite the antenna. Okay, well, there's Delta for now. All right, fine, we'll have Jeb do it. We're gonna try to get to the poles. We're going north. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, ignition, and launch. I still haven't put waterfall in. 
and leaning north. There's the monolith. We could probably do some science with that. Okay, we are through the clouds. I think I should lean a little bit. Well, I don't know. Even if we go straight north, we could hit these things. Shores. I, I don't think we've done shores as a biome yet. But shores is hard to hit with a rocket like this. All right, staging. Staging. Well, we can get to a pretty high velocity, but I don't think it's got to be enough. But if we can land in some other biome, that would be nice. Highlands would be milder than mountains, but it could just all be grasslands over here, and we've probably done that already. I don't want to toss Jeb too high up, but we'll co we would cover more ground if I toss Jeb higher up, but. That's dangerous coming down. Now we get a little bit more for recovery. For that. Oh, we have uh, this in space near Kerbin. We haven't even done this. We'll keep it. That's 7.2 there. Just need 18 altogether. The Terrier does not replenish electric charge. So... That is important. We're so not getting to the pole. Well, I don't know, we've got 2,000 left. Long, long burn with the Terrier, though. Alright, that's the end of that stage. We're still very much not in orbit. <laughs> um, I... where's the line? Oh, we're barely past this continent, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Yep, it's gonna take a bit. But let's get some science for it. So, knock it off to the side here. Yep. Separation. Whoa, vigorous. I long for them to get level 1 so they can at least hold retrograde. Okay, main thing now is to pay attention to when the drogue shoots okay so I can stage that. And then we can hope we reach some other biome. Oh, there's some overheating indicator there. Later is ablating. Occasionally the pod ooh, leans into the airstream. It's a bit dangerous. High G force. Super high G force. And back down again. Okay. Oh, um, before 10 kilometers. Oh, but the speed has to be 50 to 120. Oh, I, I, I missed that. We have to be really slow by that point. Uh, why would you trust to test a drogue shoot like that? <laughs> the drogue shoot is supposed to make you get to that speed. Well, I'm going to test it anyway. Okay, plop. Alright, um, we've already got good pressure data there. Um, let me, let me have Jeb pop out. Which biome? Definitely grasslands, right? No, highlands! Oh, great. Keep. Okay, can we take that? Take data? Okay, board. Let's log temperature again. Keep. And crew report. Keep. Oh, uh, maybe you can get the barometer in, and then we can do barometer here too. I don't suppose we can take a surface sample. Oh well. Yeah, we have to unlock the astronaut complex for that, I think. 
Okay, 2.2 for keeping that. All right. Recover vessel. Is it enough for radial decouplers? Ah, uh, 0.9 short. Okay, there's gotta be something we do we can do around here for that. We're going to test the drogue chute and then try and come down in some other part of the KSC. I mean, that's logical, right? The thuds. The thuds might be good for a little hopper. The terrier sure isn't, but I mean, for a small enough thing it would be fine, but um, maybe we should just use the flea, but that's harder to control the speed to make sure that we, because we have to get all the way up to 10 kilometers and then go to a low speed. So I think I'd rather have the thuds for that. Eh, we'll be fine. Um, let me just shift these thuds up like this. Should be able to sit on that, right? These are stability assist containers here. <laughs> Alright, uh, so it says 4.19 thrust weight ratio with the thuds there. That would be enough to get to space, that's not a problem. Um, we have the drogue chute there. Once we're drained of fuel... Still pretty heavy. Well, let me take off the... We don't need the heat shield. We don't need the decoup... Well, I mean, we might need the decoupler in an emergency if I don't slow down enough. Maybe we can propulsively slow down. Three tons is a lot for this little parachute. Maybe I'll have two of the drogue chutes. We don't really need the comm device. I don't know if the two drogue chutes will help ultimately, though. Maybe I should just think about reserving some fuel for touchdown. This seems dangerous. Uh, we'll have Val do it, I guess. I don't know if they come with the parachutes yet, right? <laughs> that would be another option to have her... But she can't EVA in flight right now, so that would be a problem. Okay, Hopper. Maybe, maybe just in case I'll put the decoupler in there. I don't think it was that big a mess. But with my luck, the stage will come back to hit us. Oh, it hopped right there, too. Well, it lives up to its name. Okay. SAS on. Okay. Okay. I don't want to go too fast. Well, I mean, we should be able to here anyway. Okay. Let's moderate it though. To be honest, we probably need to propulsively land. Otherwise, I can't target a particular place. Okay. Give it a little bit more juice. Okay. We have tested the drug shoots. <laughs> I might need to cut them. I don't know. Can we land on top of the VAB maybe? Got a lot of fuel right now. I just wanted those for stability on landing, not... Probably didn't need the fuel as such. Okay, well... This way. This way. We're not getting far enough, no. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the top of the EVA, uh, the, uh, the VAB. Let's have all this gimbal range. Better be a different biome. It's like taking one step at a time towards it. Oh, we're on, we're on this side. Um, I want to go further north.
And further. Oh, we're almost out of gas. I don't know. I don't think I can make it. Safely. Uh, just a little bit short, though. Okay. Well, I better just take the plunge here. We were close. We were close. It's got to be a little bit of a hard landing. Ooh! Okay, harder than I thought. I guess we'll recover the thuds. Alright, uh, is this a different biome? VAB! Okay, it counts as the VAB. Okay. Report from the VAB. Like, that's an achievement. Anyway, um... She does come with a parachute. Okay, that should be enough for what we wanted. Do we have two thuds lying out there now? Or do they, those get picked up? Okay, 6.4 science. Okay, they still need to be picked up. Cover. Recover. Okay, well, now, radial decouplers. And I'm gonna get the pad upgrade. And let's see if we can build an orbital rocket. Um, do you have anything else that I could do right now? Ooh, haul a skipper engine. We don't have any fuel tank that could accommodate the skipper engine. Um, I wish. I mean, does it have that 1.25 meter form factor or not? I don't think so. They give us 342 days to do it. Maybe I should have it in my back pocket just in case, huh? I mean, they're just basically going to give us a skipper engine until we get that done, right? But it says into orbit. Gosh, it'll be hard to actually carry it into orbit. We're still on day one, though. <laughs> I mean, 342 days, considering I don't have Kerbal Construction time or anything, is a fair amount of time. But we only have two contract slots, and right now I don't have enough money to upgrade this. So, yeah. Let's let's not do that. I might regret that later. Okay, so radial decoupler. Altogether, we get six thousand nine hundred thirteen. But these have a lot of thrust weight ratio. Well, actually, not that much thrust weight ratio. One point six nine at sea level. We're gonna fire this at the same time. But keep it low throttle initially, because we need to burn off some of the fuel. I mean, we also need to be able to steer a little bit better, potentially. Could put the four fins on still. This isn't enough to get to orbit. So, alright. Uh, this is 6,800. What if we put the, li the liquids again? I'll just say the swivel, but we might want... This is 7,300, but we don't get nose cones. Well, I mean, I could take off one of the instruments, or I could take off the transmitter. Let's take off... Oh, no, I don't even need to take off the transmitter. I forgot the drogue chute's still there. I don't think I want the transmitter either. Might be poking out and getting heat or something. Okay, 7,376. But what's the thrust weight ratio down here? Pretty bad. Well, we'll have to light everything at once. Now, vacuum 7162. It's still better than the thumpers. If we unlock the Reliance, maybe... They're not that much better. They'll give us better thrust-to-weight ratio, but their efficiency just... sort of meh. They're lighter, though. With all swivels at 7,162 with them in the same same uh, stage. It's just maybe 30 more. But the better thrust weight ratio would be nice. But that's no good if we don't have control. Okay, well, Val. Okay, so this is the Delta rocket. 
Can it get to orbit? Let's find out. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, and launch. Okay, through the clouds. Throttling down through Max Q and everything. This is actually because I, I want to flatten out more. I want to turn faster, but I don't want to flip. That's why I throw down. Okay. I want to go mostly horizontal here. That was not a great trajectory. Okay, booster set. I do have to remember if we get to orbit that we need enough left in the terrier to actually come back down. That would be important. It doesn't actually require that we bring the Kerbal back down, mind you. And they don't need resources, so we could leave Val up there, but it'd be sad. Okay, staging and ignition. Well, orbital velocity... We could get pretty high. So, why is there such a huge gap between surface velocity and orbital velocity? I didn't even notice that. That is huge, isn't it? This thing is rotating like crazy. Who ordered that? <laughs> I guess it's still on like a six hour day or something. But it's much larger. It's physically much larger. Oh, I don't know what the period of the day is for TRAPPIST-1E, to be honest. I didn't set that. I don't even know if I can set that. I assume I can. Well, you better not be trying to go retrograde around here. No, we might as well go with orbital velocity. Uh, we'll need a reference for surface velocity as well, because that can throw off our thinking. They might be spinning pretty fast, though. When you think about the Trappist system, they're going around their sun really fast. They might also be spinning very fast. Well, we might not know how fast they're rotating. I don't have that information. Okay, getting close now. Oop, don't want to go. Okay, we can throttle down. We have total throttle. All sorts of throttle. Okay, that's orbit with 900 to spare too. Okay, and uh, we have achieved orbit. Very good. 6,800 meters per second. Like only 1,000 short of like the velocity for Earth. 5,000 meters per second surface velocity. So there's a 1,800 meter per second gap between the two because of the rotation. So it's rotating, rotating fast. We don't have, at least I don't have the number for TRAPPIST-1E actually. So we're going to keep it like Kerbin with a six... Oh, I didn't know why. I guess Minmus retained its previous inclination. Yeah. Otherwise, the planets aren't very inclined because the real planets aren't. But I didn't change anything uh, unless I knew the number, or not changing it would end up making it unstable in uh, in Principia with n body physics. So try to make everything stable with n body physics, and then otherwise also make sure that it matched real numbers that I had. But I did not have a number, well there's no moon for Travis 1E that I know of, so. Okay. Well, here we are. We can't EVA. The crew report is just space near Kerbin. Can't really do much science. Sure, we got decent money. 109,000 is not a lot, considering the cost of the rocket. At least we can get the pod back. All right, well, we have to see whether we can actually come back safely, though. Last time was a bit dodgy. Well, now 25 should do it. Um, normally, I'd go for 26 from anywhere in the stock system. I'll give it a little bit less than 25. Okay, fine. 27. Okay, dumping the stage. Your 
Oh no. We're losing a blader really fast. Ooh, ooh, uh, okay, I say us off. Uh, I don't need this rocking back and forth. Okay, off, off. Okay. Just like that. Ah, uh, no, Val! Live, please. Uh... Oh no, we lost Val. Um, well, let's, let's go back to the Space Center. So we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> we have a bit of a problem with re-entry heat, but isn't that re-entry heating? I can just turn that down, right? But will that work? Will they survive when we when they come down if I turn that down? And that's sort of unfair to Val. <laughs> it's sort of unfair to Val. I'm gonna I'm gonna have missing crews respawn. I don't but I don't know if that'll help Val at all. Because uh Val is listed as killed in action, not missing. It also hasn't really given us a contract. Well, it does give us a return to Kerbin from Orbit contract, finally. Uh, but it doesn't give us a contract to pick up a Kerbal. So we, we need to rescue some Kerbals. Okay, we're going to have to do some experimentation here. And I may... Uh, tell me if I should revive Val. Um... I'm going to, in sandbox, do the re-entry heat testing and see what level is survivable. And then we'll apply that. So I won't change it here, but I'll, change, I'll check it in sandbox and then change it for next time. And... Well, you know, we really should have Kerbal G-Force limits too, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. It's still hard mode. I swear, hard. But uh, I'm gonna be thinking of changing a few things. Maybe, I mean, the the thing is, for a real solar system, we have a special mod to handle the re-entry heating, right? Real heat. And I don't think I want to implement a mod like that in here. Uh, though there's a reason why it existed and deadly re well, deadly re-entry was to create the re-entry heating, but. Uh, Real heat is to model a little bit better for the bigger planets. And so I'll need to think about that. Or we could just turn it down. So, but I'll see in sandbox what level would be good. So, all right, that's that's our first tragedy right there. Uh, just on the brink of success, it snatched it away from us. Oh, to be honest, the pod really needed more heat tolerance too. Um, it was it a really high thermometer reading as it was. The problem is they can't they don't hold retrograde exactly, so that's a little bit of a rub. Uh maybe if we add Kerbals level up immediately, because once they get to orbit they should be able to have the retrograde hold option. That's another option that's another thought. Alright, well there we have it. With that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.